New York was recently ranked at the top of all world cities for cost of living. Today we'll walk around my neighborhood to show you what the cost actually is in 2023. Welcome to my apartment. I live in Park Slope, Brooklyn, about 20 minutes from Manhattan, and a lot has changed since we last filmed here. We had a baby. And we fit into this neighborhood really well now because this neighborhood's super popular with families. Our rent hasn't changed from the first time we filmed here. $2,500 a month, one bedroom, one office slash nursery, we'll call it right now. Our owner has not raised our rent. We're now in our third year here, which is crazy because when I lived in Manhattan, my rent got raised every single year of the nine years I was in the apartment, which goes to show you when you know the owner, it is always much better in New York City. Okay. According to RentHop.com, the average rent for a one bedroom in New York City, $3,927 a month, up 12% from a year ago. Uh, so some typical baby cups in New York is, for example, diapers. We buy a box with 168 diapers for around $55, and that box lasts for like a month. So yeah, we need a lot of diapers with this one. Right, baby? All right, what about the cost of Alexander's clothes? Okay, for like simple pieces like these, you can find things like this for like up to like $8 if you know where to look. And honestly, baby, leave the clothes behind so fast that I wouldn't buy expensive clothes for him. <laughs> Maybe for a special occasion and that's it. <laughs> and for this special occasion, YouTube actually sent us this. Check it out. YouTube, baby. <laughs> Groceries. We spend approximately $130 a week on groceries off Amazon.com, which is something many New Yorkers are doing now. It's about the same cost as going to the supermarket, but we're still gonna go to the supermarket anyways for some individual costs I wanna show you. Five avocados for $5. This is actually the cheapest I've seen it at this supermarket. I am shocked in the best possible way. Eggs from $3.99 to $10.49, depending on uh, how fancy you want to get. $5.79 gallon of milk. How much does milk cost where you live? I'm curious. $13.99 for a pound of salmon. That's always an expensive item in the city. This is up there. This is getting pricey. $3.49 for a loaf of bread. I don't buy many loaves of bread. I don't even know if the price has gone up on that or not. Uh, we spend about $15 a week on laundry. Generally, it's a dollar a pound plus tip. Then for Alexander, throw on another $13 with tip. So 28 to 30 bucks a week on laundry, wash and fold. We only do it now because we don't have the time. And this is a big New York City thing. Many buildings don't have washing machines. So it's a little added expense. After rent, I think the most shocking expense for many of you, especially those living outside the United States, is the cost of our health insurance as a family of three. We spend $1,567 a month. And although the rates are definitely higher with a New York City zip code, I don't work for the state. I don't have a big private employer. This is the reality for a lot of families out there who do freelance jobs, who run their own businesses. You pay a fortune for health insurance. Absolutely one of my craziest expenses. <laughs> he wants to talk. Cell phone bill, $171 a month for two people on Verizon. It's definitely one of the most expensive plans that you can get, but we have unlimited data. If we go to Mexico, we can use our phones without changing SIM cards. It's an expense that I'm willing to pay, but you can do a lot cheaper in New York or in the US with something like T-Mobile. I just love the service. Cost of a subway swipe, $2.75. A price that actually has not gone up since 2015, still making it one of the best values out there. In this day and age of inflation, troubled sleep, small little used bookstore in Park Slope has a dollar cart outside. And if you could think of a better value for your money than a $1 book, like buying this kind of knowledge, I don't know what it would be, but uh, I feel like every time I walk by here, I buy something. As you've seen with the cost of groceries and eating out going up, anything you can do to save money right now is a win. I'd like to thank a sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh, who make it fast, easy, and affordable to whip up a restaurant quality meal 
right in your own kitchen. HelloFresh's latest line of meals feature robust flavors and filling portions, and are ready in less than 15 minutes. Enjoy taste and quality done quick, and with recipes like falafel power bowls, seared steak and potatoes with béarnaise sauce, or Southwest pork and bean burritos, a lot more. We all wanna save money this time of year, but did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money year round? In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Having a four month old baby, anything that can save us time is a bonus. Sometimes even going to the grocery store can be a hassle and it's super easy to prepare HelloFresh. You get step-by-step -step recipes and fresh pre-proportioned ingredients, making it easy even for someone like me who isn't much of a cook to chip in. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code HelloBar21 for 21 free meals with shipping. That's HelloBar21 for 21 free meals with shipping. Definitely something that'll help you out a lot. Link in the description. We'll get into the grab and go and cheap eats. I spent $1.90 for a plain bagel. I spent $6 for a bagel with egg and cheese, which is one of my go-tos in the mornings when I'm craving it. Tacos, $4 each, which is pretty much what you'd pay at any of the restaurants here in Brooklyn as well. <laughs> Give you like an average bodega price. $6.50 to eight bucks for a sandwich. I think it's an incredible value. Can probably find it cheaper in different neighborhoods. All right, I don't know where my coffee drinkers are. $3.75 for a small latte. This is pretty standard New York City price. Also, Ben being the uh, bougie character he is, got a candy cane cold brew for $5. Now the holidays are over. I don't know what possessed this man to get this, but. All right, let's talk going out to eat. Hanyo, a Michelin bib restaurant, which means the prices are reasonable, is one of our favorites in the neighborhood. Let me read some prices to you. So a cocktail is 16 or 17 bucks. We probably would order an appetizer of their amazing crispy wings for 14 bucks. Bulgogi for $34. Yuk Jang, $28. Subtotal, 108. Tax and tip bringing the total to $139.19 for what I would say would be a nice date out for two people, about $70 a person. And anyone watching this who goes out a lot in New York City knows eating out is very pricey here. Bottle of Malbec at my favorite liquor store, Brooklyn Wine Co., $14.10. I actually think it's a pretty good deal. Now, my viewers watching in Spain and Italy are probably laughing at me for the cost, but this is decent enough Malbec. And as a parent, I'm not going out as much as I used to. So any chance I get to drink a little of this, Good opportunity. Two regular slices? Thank you. I feel like a champ. This is what I always envisioned for myself as a kid to be filming pizza reviews in TD Bank parking lots. La Villa has this amazing thing. This could go on one of my hidden gem videos. Every day till 3.30 or 4 o'clock, you can get a slice of pizza. They're a nice Italian restaurant that does pies. They sell individual slices, $3.75 each, which I think is pretty standard in New York. And these are, these are fantastic. Mm. Nice char too. I'm telling you, this is not your average New York slice right here. Quality ingredients, quality tomato sauce, quality cheese. I can taste it. All right, Ben, we're in a parking lot. I don't have a car. What's car insurance cost these days for New York City residents? As a high-risk driver, I unfortunately pay $650 a month. And my roommate, who is a non-high-risk driver, only pays $270, which, if you're in a different state, is still expensive, but it's New York. So what's the moral of the story? Don't be a high-risk driver? The moral of the story is don't drive in New York. <laughs> it's like, there's no way around it. If you think my neighborhood's expensive, in this video here, we show you a New York neighborhood so expensive, most people can't even afford it. Head here next.